hello. So it is Sunday, Father's Day. So happy Father's Day to all of the fathers out there. I wish I could be saying happy Father's Day to my dad, but he passed away in 2018. If you watch my vlogs from way back then, you know. Well, still happy Father's Day, dad. Rest in paradise. I love you so much and I miss you so much. As you can see, my hair is still up because I want to vlog today, even though I'm not doing anything today. I'm just gonna wait until tomorrow to vlog because I am going to my room and vlog today and tomorrow. So I'm gonna vlog me taking down my hair and I think I'm gonna cook. I think I'm gonna make some crab legs today. Either that or the other shrimp and crab boil. I'm going to vlog me doing nothing and I'm finishing these last two, the last two overall tea garden mystery movies okay, i've been so watching like for the last three days i started three days ago i started friday and i have two left and it's 13 movies so i watched 11 movies in two days and i'm gonna finish the last two today happy father's day to all the dads and to my dad and happy sunday and hours and hours later it is actually monday morning now i didn't vlog as much as i wanted to yesterday because i didn't do anything other than cook i've been just sitting on my ass since i ate but i'm gonna vlog today i have some running around to do and we're gonna um well i have to drop a package off a ups it's gonna get sent back to Amazon and I had to reorder another case because the one that I ordered was too big for my son's iPad. So I'm gonna get refunded that money and I ordered another one. So I have to take that back, take that to UPS and so that they can send it back. We're gonna get some groceries and I think mom has some other running around to do and I just pray that it's not raining because you know this hair cannot get wet. I was thinking about staying up but I just don't want to torture myself because the good weather is early in the day and then by the time I get up that's when the bad weather tends to come. It doesn't tend to come early in the morning. It tends to come 
like late evening early evening i am seeing that some bad weather is supposed to come but maybe we'll be back home by then i don't know but i just don't feel like torturing myself and staying up all day i am going to wrap my hair right now i'm gonna eat really quick and then i'm gonna go to bed and i'm gonna try to get up a little bit earlier and maybe we can beat the weather because just got my hair blown out friday so i don't need the weather to mess it up so yeah and i am going to vlog me getting ready for bed so i am gonna show y'all be wrapping my hair maybe when i get ready to go to bed i don't know because i feel like i vlogged that so much so you already kind of know that routine sorry getting ready for bed i'm gonna eat a little bit after i wrap my hair and call it a morning semi making up my bed to lay down and take a little nap before I was planning on getting up and running around and all that but as I was making up my bed my thumb nail on my left hand felt funny like it was loose and I look at it and at first and at first I'm like no I'm tripping it's not but then I kept looking at it and I'm like, it's actually trying to come off at the base part, at this part. Because I need like a little bit of a feeling. It's grown out a little bit. But I was going to try to make it until tomorrow and go get them filled. Because I already knew there's no way I was going to make it to the end of the week. But now that that nail is trying to come off and that my real nail under under the fake nail has some length on it and then that could just be really dangerous like it could actually crack into the skin so i'm not going to take any chances so i'm just gonna stay up and they open up at nine o'clock and i'm gonna call right at 905 and go in and get my nails filled because there's no way i'm gonna risk walking around another day with this nail like this and rub it up again something wrong or forget that it's trying to come off and risk messing up my finger where I have to go to the emergency room or they can't fix it until it heals no so I am going to go take a shower soon and take my hair back down and I might flat iron it since I'm gonna be up all day I might put a little bit of makeup on just to look alive because after I leave the nails on I know that we're gonna have to run some errands but the good part about it is that we're gonna beat the rain because it's so early but I was really hoping I could take a little bit of a nap I was gonna sleep until like 12 30. now I need to get this nail glued back down and get a fill in even though I probably could have went probably could have came close to the, making it to the end of the week but at this point it doesn't even matter when one of your fingernails is trying to come off you gotta go get that taken care of because that can lead to a finger injury, a nail injury. It is what it is. My Monday is starting even though it should be, my, my Sunday should be ending. And I am going to vlog today. I know I always say that and I don't end up doing it most of the time, but I'm gonna vlog today. I already had planned on vlogging today. Team no sleep. So it is way later. I was gonna take my camera with me, but I forgot. Um, we just got back home like a little bit over 30 minutes ago. And I did, let me turn it on. I did get my nails done, well filled, because this nail actually was coming off 
like the whole nail I don't know how it happened I don't know when it happened I just felt it this morning when I was making up my bed so I wasn't gonna risk bumping into something and actually hurting my nail like down in my nail because that can happen when you have nails that are trying to come off so I was like since I have a little bit of new grow I'll just go ahead and get them filled and now this is my actual fingernail this is not a fake nail because my real nail was long enough when he took off the fake nail so he just added the pink and white powder over my fingernail but this is my actual fingernail it is shorter than this fake one by a little bit I don't know how to yeah it's okay see that's that one and then that's that one I don't know how to match them up but it is a little bit shorter but this is my real nail and I do have a few other nails that I can soak off and they will be long enough to get the powder put over them this one is this one is this one is this one almost is but this one this one this one this one and this one still have quite a bit of growing to do so I could get a few more soaked off and it would be my real nail but I want to soak them off at the same time and have all of them be my real nail but I think I can only get these filled one more time before I'm gonna have to get them soaked off and put a fresh set of nails on because you can only get your nails filled so many times before it become, becomes unsafe and this is the fourth time well this is the third time I've gotten them filled I got them put on four weeks ago and I've gotten them filled three times I think one more time and then I'm gonna have to get them soaked off anyway so we will see where all of my nails are then if they're long enough the acrylic the uh, powder will go on top so I know for sure that this one and this one and this one it will be my real nail and possibly this one but yeah I got this cute little design on them this isn't the color that I was expecting because I picked it off of like the fake hands that they have decorated and it was like a turquoise color but the guy went with this purple color and it's pretty it's nice and my toes are also just the purple color but just the solid color not the decoration I would show y'all my feet but my toes are cute like painting but my feet are ugly and then I got my eyebrows waxed again because it's been three weeks well four weeks since the first time I got them waxed definitely would say she did a better job this time because they were a hair or two here and on, under one of my eyes and I'm so glad that I asked her for the alcohol because the first time my eyes swole up my eyebrows swole up they didn't swell up this time they are itchy and I couldn't find no alcohol our Walmart still has yet to stock alcohol peroxide finally and that would have had to have been within the last few days because when I went to the store last week they didn't have no peroxide they had not restocked that either but they do have peroxide stocked but still no alcohol so yeah enough about my nails um y'all know now that my hair is straight I'm going on week three of what will be four weeks and I'm not used to my hair hanging and being straight and being down my neck it drives me nuts i still need to get a few things for it some clips just a few other things i need to get but i'm just gonna get a little bit by a little bit um i think i saw something like this on melissa lucy's um i think she talks about something like this twice and I just thought that this was a cool way to pull my hair back versus just a regular um this is what I've been using to pull my hair back so I thought that these were cute 
It says for all hair types, so they call them jelly bands, spiral elastics, and there is a light pink, a clear, like a rose gold copper color, this ugly brown that I probably won't ever use, and then a darker pink. And I think that these were like a little bit under three dollars. No, they were like four eleven. Yeah, like four eleven. So that's these and I wanted some big, big clips or I guess these would be like medium sized clips to put my hair back and make it look kind of cute. I got these this two piece of jaw clips. It's like a goldish black color and this one looks like a butterfly and I don't know what this is this, but like these. And I got this one because it has three different sizes. I wanted some that were smaller. So like if I want to just pull both sides of my hair back. Or just get just, just some that's not so big. So I got this. This has five piece jaw clips. And these are like smallest, smaller, bigger, but not as big as these. So. And it has the small black one the bigger black one and this is like a black and silver and then the, the two browns and the smaller and the bigger one so it's a five piece yeah I just wanted to get some stuff that I could pull my hair back and I'm definitely gonna pull it back now that I'm home I'm done rambling we're at 10 minutes and I am waiting for my son's package to get here um, but we get into that because that's going to be on a whole different vlog. I will vlog if I'm not too tired because I haven't been in bed yet. I am making double eggs for me and my cousin. She's pregnant and she wanted me to make her some double eggs and I told her how I would do it today. I went and bought the eggs and got some other stuff for it so I will vlog me making those if I am not too tired because I am extremely tired. But I am going to sit here and relax. They are boiling. And I'm going to watch a little bit of NASCAR at 3 when it comes on. These are mine. I like to eat mine cold. So I'm gonna put them in the freezer so they can get cold quick. So I'm gonna let them stay in the freezer for probably about 15, 20 minutes. I'm gonna fix my salad in that time. And I'm gonna probably eat not quite half of these first sitting. And then I'll eat the rest later. If you want to know what I put in the egg filling, and this is extra that I have left. I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator. So I put mayonnaise, mayo, honey Dijon mustard, regular yellow mustard, sugar, and sweet relish. And then I put seasoned salt on the top. Sometimes I'll add bacon bits to it, real bacon bits, and I'll add parsley. But since I was making this for somebody else also, I didn't do that. But if I'm making it just for myself, a lot of times I'll add parsley and bacon bits to it. My devil eggs. And then like I said, this is the extra filling. And it tastes just like potato salad with eggs. Or deviled egg potato salad. 